Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing the fertilizer trouble contract. So for this contract we have to go into this little zone back behind me but I wanted to show you guys right here it shows the cistern and then when I click on fertilizer trouble which is the one that we're going to do and start tracking all of a sudden the icon for the cistern is gone. So I was able to find it just because the wrong contract was tracking. But basically we have to go to this area and then search for the cistern, I'm guessing, and then pick it up and deliver it to the farm plot, which is in Harvest Corp. So we'll back up here into the area, the cistern search area. We are using the Dairy Longhorn 3194 for this. Oh, that's not going to... Eh, whatever. And we are also using the CAT CT681. So our other truck is just off above this right now. You can just barely see the trailer. This is going to be a little heavier than I thought, I think. It's going to try and keep it really low. And I'm just going to drive it over there. So I'm slowly lowering this, but hiring the uh, other the rope or winch or whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's try and see if we can drive this at all. It doesn't look like this is going to go very well. Maybe. It's kind of weird, it just clips through all the trees. Alright. Don't flip. I mean, I wanted it to not flip my truck is what I meant on that. And I wanted it to like stand up and then flip the truck somehow. Hey, that works. Uh, Alright, yeah, not bad. So we'll just get it up and turn it. Uh, turning's really slow on this, but whatever, what can you do? We'll bring it out this way a little bit. So this is a five slot cargo. I could have used a lot of other trucks for the, uh, the semi, well, really either portion, but again, I'm trying to use trucks that I don't use very often. Let's get this packed. And before we get on our way, I quick, I'm just going to show you guys the map. So we are on the Institute. We had to go to the part right here, the search area, and then the cistern was back right here. So we're going to take this. Actually, it'd probably be easier to go back to the main road and then just have one bad river crossing here. But I think we'll just cross here, cross here, and go all the way up and through. All right, I just... Uh, Set it back to day, oh, I was going to take the fuel out of there, oh well. I do have the uh, 5600TS on the way, I suppose, and we're going past the, uh, what's it called, the technical station on the way, so shouldn't be too much of an issue, I don't think. I'm trying to get the tire to ride right up on there. Eh, kind of got it, missed it with the back tires, but whatever. Yeah, I was looking through different trucks to use for this, and I had a trailer with the... I said that kind of weird. A trailer? I had a trailer with the Azov 64131, I think it was, in Harvest Corp. Was it Harvest? No. Yeah, it was Harvest Corp, but I'm trying to think if it was the, the Azov or not. Yeah, it was, actually. So I don't remember what I brought. I think I brought something to the airport. Maybe it wasn't. Oh no, I think I think I brought something else close, and then I just drove it to the airport for some reason. I don't know. You guys might know more than I do. Oh no, I had to bring the the cement or concrete slabs to get the warehouse in the airport. That's what it was. So I drove that back. 
I also had a heavy trailer that I used when I brought the Colob to the airport and that had to bring oil to get a refueling point there. So I could have really picked either trailer but I just, yeah, I decided to go with this one. No real reason as always, just kind of picked it. But trying to keep it interesting with all different kinds of trucks. I don't know, probably a lot of you guys like to see the newer trucks, which I've used those quite a bit. But I'm, I'm fine with using them more. I, I actually do want to... Actually... I th yeah, I brought two trailers. Uh, the four slot trailers. I don't remember what they're called. The ramped flatbed, I think, is the name. So they're, they're not... They're not like a saddle lower high trailer that you have to connect with. You can connect it with pretty much every truck. And I'm going to grab four metal beams with the uh, Kirovitz K700 and K7M just to do some more hauling gameplay with those. And then I also have I have a Kirovitz K700 and two Kirovitz K7Ms waiting at a field. And the reason for that is I'm just going to Basically, I have the dual tires, Kirovitz K7M, the single tires, K7M, and then the K700. So, you know, you have three stages of farming. I figured I'll just use one of each truck and just kind of see how it goes. And I tried to... I colored the trucks so, like, one of them's red, for the, and it'll have the potato harvester. One of them's yellow, that'll have the cultivator, and one of them's blue, and that'll have the uh, multi-row planter. After I picked the colors and dropped, brought the trucks out there, I was like, oh, maybe I should have, like, left or changed the colors of the trucks a little bit differently. I don't remember what order I have them in, but just to make it, like, because I know the, the red one is the easiest because it, like, has two connecting points on the truck instead of one, so it's sort of more stuck to your truck. When you back up, it kind of goes the same, whereas the trailers, they kind of just go wherever they get pushed to, sort of. So, yeah, I was thinking about changing those, but they're already out there. I'm not going to change it, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. They have one of each color. And yeah, I just noticed this one of the last times I drove through that they actually have a little road here. I did not notice this for a long time. But I guess, uh, uh, the other day, well, over the past couple of days, videos have come out. I've done them on the possible repair point add-ons for each class of vehicles, and then all of them ranked together. So if you guys haven't seen those, I'd suggest checking those out. Um, we started with the heavy class, because the heavy was one of the more, uh, more liked and more watched ones you guys it it has more uh more options as well i guess i would say so we started off with the heavy glass then we went to highway then we went to heavy duty then we went to scouts then off-road and then we finished off with all of the trucks together wait i thought i had my ts around here did i move it Maybe it's at the end of the road over here. I don't remember. I think I can see it. But yeah, those are uh, kind of cool. I'm also going to be doing it, hopefully. So a after this video, I plan on doing that farming video I was just talking about. And then I plan on doing all of the... Um, what are they? Um... I can't think. Oh, spare tires. I plan on doing it with all the spare tires. So, like I said, if you guys haven't seen that, though the spare tires will hopefully be out because this this is coming out on was it Saturday? I don't remember exactly which day, but then we'll be coming out with farming on s the next day, and then the day after that, I plan on doing 
the start of the spare tires. And I think I might just start with highway on that one. I'm not sure which one will come first, but we'll do um, in, in no particular order, at least not yet. I'm just going to say them, you know. Um, we'll be doing highway, heavy duty, heavy, and I'm just thinking of them as in order of how they are in the truck storage. So you got highway, heavy duty, heavy, then you got off-road and scouts, and then we'll do all of them together. My guess is we'll finish off on either off-road. Oh, yeah, here's where I drove the Azov to, actually, and then I changed up the trailer because I drove it kind of halfway. I drove the other truck from the garage. Take a left here. Uh, I wasn't sure if I could get back over that rock. But, yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll do do all the spare tires, and those that one should be one of the more interesting ones, because there's a lot of trucks that, like, as an example, the 57X can have a spare tire, but it can't have any refueling or repair add-ons at all, like no roof racks, no maintenance add-ons, fan body add-ons, uh, you know, nothing, nothing to increase its number. But there's a lot of trucks that have spare tires. So the amount of trucks with zero, it'll probably still be high. It'll just be different trucks. But it'll be nice that some of the highways and the heavy duties will have, you know, different numbers than zero. Because, or I shouldn't say zero, but they're basically all the same. So they can all have, you know, this fuel tank or this van body add-on. And that's, you know, the whole class. There's no, none of them with roof racks or anything. This picture, or this truck was here from the screenshot that I took on like the second day. And it's been like two and a half weeks now. Three weeks now, actually. So it's kind of funny that it's still there. But that's just how I play. I, I leave trucks out there and like if I needed fuel, I would just steal it from that. Or if I needed to... Ooh, I was wondering if that would go well. It didn't. If I needed fuel or, you know, if I flipped something or just a, a quick repair or something, then I uh, would switch to that truck and do it. If it's the closest. Usually I just use the closest ones. But I don't know if I said this either. I switched it back today when we got into Harvest Corp. We're almost here. Also, this is the, the cistern, if anybody didn't know. This is a new... Uh, cargo. I know I said it was a five slot cargo. I don't know if I said it was a new cargo though. But I kind of accidentally went off road there and I'm just going to keep going off road because I know my delivery points right up here. And yeah, the ground in this di update is pretty nice. So for the most part, you don't got to worry about it. I really like the fence gates here though. Is it this one? No. Shoot, maybe this drop-off point's further than I thought. Oh, I can see it now, actually. I guess now we'll go through the fence gates that I like. It just reminds me of, like, Montana or Wyoming or something here. Wait, one of them's gone. I'm sure they're used all over the world, but just, like, the little gates. They're not around where I, I'm from, usually, though. All right. Company farm established. 72.50 and 480 for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.